Welcome everyone, I'm Dr. Justin Lin of Rehab and Revive Physical Therapy. I've been getting questions from patients regarding how do you sit at the desk properly or you know how do you prevent injuries at the neck, shoulder, lower back. Now we're going to talk about in this segment how to sit and how to use the computer or the right height. First thing I want to talk about is just an overall sitting posture. You want to be a little bit more forward in your chair in general. And in a previous video we talked about better sitting with a, a towel roll. We're going to try to use the same thing. So please refer to that video if you can. But the most important thing is to support your weight with the ground. That's going to relieve us from 40% of our body weight. That way you don't feel the strain in your neck or your back or have to use so much abdominal strength to support these lower extremity structures. So you can see my legs shouldn't really be easily moved. I shouldn't be able to pick it up. It should take some effort. So you should actually shift your weight or for a way to check you can try to push into the ground. You can try that for both legs. If you are allowed to then you can also try to stagger this hip back a little bit. And what that creates is this pelvis gets thrown into a more neutral position. This is actually where the towel comes in a little bit more handy. So once again you take a little normal hand towel and you roll it up into a roll like so and you just tuck it under your sits bone right here. And this is actually gonna, you should be able to touch your back, make sure no, none of the muscles are firing and this will throw us in a little better position for, for the desk. Now when we get to the desk, it's important to have your laptop or your computer monitor at the right height. And it's roughly, you, you want to be at eyeball height. Now there's some great little things that we have at our offices usually. We get phone books, no one ever really needs these, so you can use this, and some spare package boxes. So I like to stack those on top of each other. And that will create a little bit more. And you can actually, for laptops, you can adjust it. Most monitors are adjustable as well, but you want that about eye level, and you're looking down a little bit. So just a quick overview. This is going to help a lot. You want your monitor or your keyboard as close as possible. Monitors in general, if you're about arm's length away, is, is pretty good. But the keyboard should be relatively close. If your elbows are below the keyboard, that's great. That actually keeps a lot of things relaxed. And if you've got armrests, you could use those as well. But this chair, luckily there's no armrest, so I can stagger my hips once again. And so this is the, the best way. You want to think about the back of your ear, this hip bone, and your ankle being in one straight line. That's going to decrease all that compression on that spine. I just want you to know that the spine is being compressed at a rate of about 200 pounds for every 30 minutes. That's roughly, you know, if you look at 8 or 9 or 10 hour a day, that's about 4,000, 5,000 pounds that's being driven down into you. So these are ways to prevent everyday compression, everyday wear and tear. So once again, a little quick review. You want arm's length over here for your, your monitor. If you can keep your arms relaxed, that's going to let off a lot of tension into your neck and upper shoulders. You want the lower back to not work as hard. You can use a little towel here. And you want weight to go into the ground. That's very key. That's a, probably the most key component. 40% of that weight is supported on the ground. That way you don't have to support it. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.